Welcome to the video presentation for the SCADA generic trainer developed by Atmos International. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the trainer and demonstrate pipeline operational scenarios that can be used in the training process of pipeline operators. The first scenario begins after the trainer system is initialized with the pipeline in a shut-in state. The goal is to start the pipeline and ship product from the tanks located at the inlet terminal to the midline terminal. We begin by configuring the valve lineup to allow flow from the inlet terminal to the midline terminal. We select the valve ITSLV001 to bring up the control window. The control window allows us to see the current status of the valve and send commands. Selecting the open command will allow the valve to begin traveling to the open state. A prompt will appear to allow the operator to confirm the action. Next, we will open the block valve for the tank. Once both valves are completely open, we will select the set point box of the pressure control valve ITPCV001 to open the control window. From the control window, we can ensure the valve is in manual mode to be able to set the valve position to 25% by selecting the valve position box. After confirming the command, the valve will begin traveling. Our next step is to ensure the flow path to the midline terminal is ready. We will first go to block valve 1 by clicking the appropriate station button in the side menu. From here, we will verify that both valves BV1 MLV001 and BV1 BV001 are open. Next, we will check the flow path of block valve 2. Moving to pump station 2, we can see that the station bypass valve is open. This valve will need to be closed by selecting the valve, choosing the close command, and confirming the action. The pressure control valve should be configured in the same manner as the inlet terminal by ensuring it is in manual mode and setting the valve open position to 25%. Moving to block valve 3, we can verify the flow path to the midline terminal is open and ready. To prepare the midline terminal for delivery, we will check that the station bypass valve and station suction valve are both closed. Next, we will verify that the pressure control valve is in manual mode and set to 2% open before opening the tank inlet valve. At the inlet terminal, we can open the flow and pressure trend to monitor the pipeline during startup. Now that the flow path to the midline terminal is ready, we can start pump number one at the inlet terminal. Selecting the pump brings up the control window where we can send the command to start the pump. Once the pump enters the running state, we can then start pump three in the same way. This flow scenario requires the inlet terminal to be operated at a discharge pressure of 535 psi. This can be accomplished by selecting the set point box of the pressure control valve and changing it from manual mode to automatic. We can then input the required discharge pressure for the station. At pump station 2, we will first start pump 1 followed by pump 3. The target discharge pressure for pump station 2 is 420 psi and can be set by changing the mode to automatic and inputting the target pressure. At the midline terminal, we will first set the pressure control valve to maintain an inlet pressure of 500 psi. Opening the flow and pressure trend for the segment will help to verify the proper startup of the pipeline. We will make a final adjustment by changing the inlet pressure set point to 330 psi. 
This change can now be seen in the trend. We will continue to monitor the pipeline as it reaches steady state.